The recent 25 basis point reduction in the five-year loan prime rate will save 150 yuan per month on a 30-year 1 million yuan mortgage. While this may seem modest, since 2019, five-year LPR has already been cut by 90 basis points in total. That offers sizable relief for those with genuine needs of home ownership. How many families stand to benefit? Statistics indicate that 43.4% of Chinese urban families are currently paying mortgages out of a total of 240 million urban families. So approximately 100 million urban families will benefit from the rate cut. What is the total amount of money saved? China's total outstanding mortgages amount to around 38 trillion yuan. The rate cut is projected to save 96 billion yuan in interest payments per year, as estimated by Goldman Sachs. What does rate cut reveal about Chinese economy? The rate cut demonstrates the government's determination to bolster the housing sector. The cut also indicates that Chinese commercial banks are prepared to withstand the effects of lower lending rates. Remember, in 2023, large state-owned banks lowered deposit rates by 65 basis points, ensuring their net interest margins. This proactive approach sets China apart from the situation in the US during the 2008 subprime mortgage crisis. The Chinese central bank governor Pan Gongsheng said last year that the impact of the housing sector's challenges on China's banking system was limited. And why hasn't the central bank cut the one-year LPR? The decision not to cut the one-year LPR this time reflects China's cautious approach. Premier Li Chang gave a clear signal in the Davos World Economic Forum earlier this year that China won't resort to huge stimulus because that will accumulate long-term risk. However, while no cut has been made now, it does not rule out the possibility of one cut or more cuts later in the year. The US Fed is anticipated to cut rates by June that will narrow the interest gap between the dollar and the yuan. China will have more room to cut one-year rate to support the real economy. When the real economy shows more signs of recovery, this in turn could help restore home buyer confidence and stabilize the housing sector.